My name is Nkem Agboti. I'm a legal practitioner in Lagos. I run my own legal practice and I've been a member of Opus Dei for four years. Um, being a member of Opus Dei has literally been fulfilling for me. It, it has really brought everything together for me because as a lay person, we struggle. As lay people, we struggle to figure out what God wants from us and we look at other vocations and sometimes things seem a lot clearer for the priests and for the religious. But then St. Jose Maria has brought, um, with the help of God and through the intercession of Our Lady, he, he has brought us to an understanding of what is expected of lay people, which is basically uh, to make sure that the teachings of Christ are fulfilled in all temporal affairs which resonates very well with me because I love my work. I've always wanted to be a lawyer. I've practiced law for 16 years. And to know that I can do this work and make it something that I can offer to God, that it's something I can do for God. It's a way of being of service to others. This is why I find um, my vocation to be fulfilling because I am able to do what I love and make it and sanctify it and sanctify others and sanctify myself when I do it. So, so that has been tremendous for me. It's been four years and when I first joined and I, I knew I was home, I knew I was finally home, but I still sort of needed to see, I felt God wanted more from me in terms of uh, the work I could do for him besides doing my professional work and offering it up. I just felt there was more that we needed to do. How are we going to make the world a place that reflects the gospel better? How do we actually do that? I mean, St. Josemaria says that the crises of, these, of this world are more a crisis or a crisis of saints. So, and that God wants a handful of people to be for him, you know. And he also talks about how, you know, if we don't form the world, the world will form us. So I, I had this really, I had this dilemma about, okay, so how all these wonderful things that I've learned, how do I share it with the world and do my bit in Christianizing the world? Another thing that I learned as a supernumerary is that family is the basic unit of society. The whole of society is built on family. I learned this within the work, but this is a teaching of the church. This is a general teaching of the church. It's even something you learn in social studies. But my sisters who are involved in Apostle of Public Opinion really helped me realize that this is serious. It's serious that family is a basic unit of society, conventional families, families that spring from the marriage of a man and a woman. That is what society is based on. And if we shake the basis, then society has a problem. So these sisters of mine made it their mission to defend the family. And I just thought, I think this is where I can do my bit. And I think it fits in well with my legal skills. So I, I bring my legal skills to bear in supporting uh, the effort. And it, it's, it's been tremendous. But having said that, you know, these are the, the lofty big things that I, I aspire to and I, I hope they can be categorized as holy ambitions. I try as much as possible to rectify when I'm making these efforts, but outside of that, they're the little things as well. So we don't all get the opportunity to do dazzling things, but we all get the opportunity to do little things. Another thing that St. Jose Maria teaches is that we need to, to learn to refer everything to God. I mean everything, every little thing that we do, we need to refer it to God and it has tremendous value when we do that. So I now, you know, part of my journey has been to figure out how do I make the little things holy? And I realize that it's really not that difficult. We have a great example in uh, Guadalupe, one of our sisters, a lay person who is going to be beatified in less than a month. One thing that struck me in her life story is that she really referred everything to God. I mean, she could turn to God and say, God, we don't have flour. God, we don't have oil. Do something about it. I mean, every little thing is something you can refer to God and then your life takes on tremendous value. So this is something I try to carry with myself every day and it's also something that I try to share with my friends. So uh, the spirit of Opus Dei is something that you really can't contain. Once it has been transmitted to you, you want to transmit it to another and another and another and you a big part of my journey also is bringing my friends on board 
which has been tremendous fun. It has kept me very, very young because I've had the opportunity to make contact with young people and to tell them about how God loves them and what God wants from them in terms of their everyday circumstances, how they can make those circumstances holy. I've had the opportunity of, of teaching and advising and, and you know, leading expeditions to various places to have all kinds of fun. And I, I've made a lot of friends of different ages and I, I can say it has really kept me young. And I've made my sisters, I can't say enough about them. They truly are family. They've provided a lot of support and it's been great.